everybody, it's Wendy here from the Creation Station and today I want to show you how to make a decorative floral table display which will guarantee spring is always in the air and will bring nature into your home. So for the first part of this activity we're going to need to make some flowers. So for this you will need some twigs from the garden, an assortment of different colour tissue paper, a pencil, some scissors and some glue. So let's get started. Select what colour tissue paper you wish to use for your flowers. Two to four different colours work best. Fold each piece of tissue paper into a small square, about six centimetres by six. Draw a five petal flower on each piece. It doesn't have to be even, as this will add to the naturalistic look of the flower. Cut them out and you will now have piles of different colour flowers. Pair up contrasting colours. Here I'm using three pieces of dark pink and three pieces of white. Pile them randomly on top of one another, then pick up all the tissue paper, holding it firmly in the middle. Pinch and twist the paper at the bottom. Pull out the petals, depending on how full you want the flower. Carry on with this process using all the colours until you have made as many flowers as you would like. Now take a twig and glue on your flowers, covering most of the branches. Make as many of these as you want to create a beautiful floral display. As you can see, it's starting to take shape, but now we need to add the finishing touches by making some bumblebees. Now to make these lovely little creatures, here's what you'll need. Yellow and black pom-poms, black pipe cleaners, black beads, white tissue paper, scissors, glue and a black fine line pen. So let's get buzzy, I mean busy. Glue a small black pom-pom onto a medium yellow one. Once dry, wrap your black pipe cleaner around the yellow pom-pom twice and cut. Next, we need to give our bee some eyes, so take two black beads and glue them onto the black pom-pom head. To make the wings, take a small piece of white tissue paper and draw an outline of some wings. Think of drawing a heart shape. Cut them out, then using a black fine line pen, draw around the edge of the wings and finish by drawing some lines on each wing to enhance them. Next, use a pencil to gently push the wings under the pipe cleaner nearest the head. Now your bee is complete. Glue him onto one of your flowers and carry on making more bees to add to your display. Once they are all glued into place, put your decorated twigs into a vase or jug. And there you have it, a hive of activity. Now this little bee's hair is all sticky. I bet he's been using a honeycomb. <laughs> and this little bee is dancing to his favourite music. I think it's the Bee Gees. Ouch! No, it's definitely Sting. <laughs> I bet you're thinking after all those jokes, I wish she'd buzz off. <laughs> I hope you're inspired by this activity. I hope you have fun and be creative. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.